just heard you speaking very passionately on the television about your future at this football club and the position you find yourself mm. in. Could you just explain from your perspective your feelings over the last few days and how you feel about this club going forward? Well, it's happened what's happened, so it's not finished, it's not over. So, as you know, today the CEO of Ferran Soriano made a statement and the club is going to appeal. Uh, I spoke a little bit about the situation. I am confident that at the end it would deserve for our what we have done on the pitch next season playing Europe. Uh, I have confidence in the club 100%. I said before, I said right now, and I'm pretty sure we are going to defend our position. So when someone believes he's right, he has to fight until the end, and all the, no matter what. And that is, I think, the club is going to do. And as a manager of these players, what we can do the last three months before the end of the season is we arrive in a deal to fight everyone for the club because... Uh, you know, there is an inc incredible thing to fight for our people who likes, who support this club until the end, and we're going to do it. So, so life sometimes the situation happen. It's just how you approach it, how you face it, and and I think as a club, as a team, we're going to do it. If, if you can't get this overturned, if you if you have to, if you can't get this overturned, and, and you have to go two years, possibly one year, no Champions League, how how damaging is that for? Well, of course, it would not be easy, but uh, nobody said that. So still, we are in. It's a sensitive issue to talk about the legal action because I am. I don't know it. I'm not professional in that. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, what we can do is win the games. So we have to wait. And after, when the sentence is okay, it's. And after, we are going to talk about uh, the situations. But I spoke with the club, with my chairman, and. And, and and my CEO and and I follow him so I believe in them so and we're going to do it okay. How has the mood in the first team squad been since the announcement? I think the way we played showed that we are there so our game is always there we play incredibly well against United even lose we play more than well against Tottenham and we lose so today was quite similar we score uh, two goals we concede few we create an, again clear clear chances and I'm satisfied for many, many reasons, how aggressive we are, the transitions and and the way we defend in the box. And uh, after winter break, after 12 days, after what happened the last days, always uh, how we're going to react. But the team, the team is incredible. So the team is really good. So in terms of the bad moments, always our bad games or our bad results, always our performance are good. So and that is uh, make me so happy. The club has said that it has irrefutable evidence that the allegations are wrong. Have you at any stage asked to know what that evidence is or is your trust? No, I, I'm not going, it's, it's so sensitive legal, it, I think I'm not the right person to talk about that, so I, I cannot talk about, uh, I, I know a little bit the reason why, but I cannot touch more, I'm sorry, so I'm not a lawyer. So always I can say I support the club 100%. You, and you and I'm going to be there. Sorry. You don't ask to see that evidence, or do you trust the the, the director? I trust what they told me. So and 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 that is what I can say. So, but there are two sides. One accused the club, and the club say that is not true, and the justice give us the cl as a club. So another opportunity to appeal to defend our position, and that is going to do. On the injury to David Silva, it looked like he was carrying. He told me that I felt something, but no, no, no big issue. I think so. Tomorrow we're going to know exactly. But he played really well today, David, and and we will see. We will see the next days. He told me that it was more more caution after the action he has in the in the goal with the keeper, and we will see tomorrow with the doctors.
you want to ask? We've covered it, right? What? You've covered another, another, ah. another, yeah. um, if it's possible, two questions. Uh, first mm -hmm. one, uh, after the UF, UF uh, ban, uh, the Barcelona chairman, Jose Maria Bartomeu, expressed his support to UEFA for its work okay. with the Finnish. Excuse me, excuse me. We've covered this now. So, do you have anything else about the Let's game? finish. Let's finish. Doesn't matter. That's one. Turn. Uh, he expressed his support to UEFA for its uh, support uh, for, for its work with the financial fair play. Were you surprised about that? And the second question. Uh, Barcelona has been accused of hiring a firm to attack people from the club in the social media. You appeared to be one uh, of the people affected. Any thoughts about that? Thank you. I don't know if they spy me, but if it's happened, so they know me. So it's not necessary to spy me. And in the first, if they are happy because we are suspended, so I would say to the president from Barcelona, so give us to appeal, you know. He has, he asked right now the, the, the people trust what they have done, so, and that is what we're going to do. So we believe that uh, we are right and we are going to appeal. And maybe it's happened, but uh, don't talk too loud. Barcelona, my advice, don't talk too loud because uh, everybody's involved sometimes in in situations. So, but we're going to to appeal, and hopefully in the future we can we can play the Champions League against against Barcelona.